Hello, my name is Skip, and this is from the fourth row's review of The Iron Lady. Now, when we uh, start watching The Iron Lady, um, we we uh, begin at the end of her um, career, and, and, and she's kind of uh, an older woman, um, Margaret Thatcher is, and um, she dwells on uh, her past, you know, while talking to her uh, husband, uh, Dennis, played by Jim Broadbent. Now, we go back to when she was a child and how she gets the inspiration for wanting to uh, run for office and, and run for different uh, parts of the uh, English government or English parliament, I guess you would call it. And um, as she gets older, she goes to Yale and, and eventually she gets a seat on the English Parliament but you know because she's the only woman a lot of the men in the Parliament don't take her seriously you know she has issues that she thinks uh, would be beneficial to helping England and whatnot and so she eventually uh, runs for Prime Minister of England and she wins in a landslide now she ends up getting a little over her head because a lot of the people you know and a lot of the issues are kind of tough issues to deal with you know when you're the leader of one of the uh, biggest countries in the world you know um, she has a few problems but uh, she has a few friends as well you know there's a there's a thing when um, the Falkland Islands are attacked and she has to decide whether England should go to war or not and, and, and you know, any time you want you send your troops to uh, war, that's always a tough decision. That's a very t uh, difficult time for her. And and some of the um, you know where the workers that clean up the the city and the trash and the, and the electric companies and stuff, you know, the the unions are giving her a problem. So you have scenes where all the trash are piled up all over the streets. And uh, but you know the her partnership with Ronald Reagan and you know in my opinion I grew up in the 80s and Ronald Reagan you, you you'd see them together a lot and I think that really helped uh, Margaret Thatcher and England you know get tear down the, uh, the wall in Germany and, and 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 the Cold War that was a big plus for her career but um, you know in the framing sequence she's kinda got um, dementia of or Alzheimer's I guess you would say and so we don't know if she's talking to her actual husband or her husband is dead or whatnot and it's kind of a sad state of affairs that she has to deal with but going back on her life I cannot say enough about Meryl Streep I mean I'm watching this movie and I think it's actually Margaret Thatcher in this movie and that's what, what a powerful I mean absolutely powerful performance by Meryl Streep and if this isn't the best performance by a female this year I don't know what is Michelle Williams was great in my week with Maryland and uh, so was uh, uh, Viola Davis in the help but I think Meryl Streep is a lock to win the Oscar and this will make her third after uh, Kramer versus Kramer and Sophie's Choice. I mean, if you get nominated 17 times, you, you you should win at least three, in my opinion. But I'm a little biased. I know I'm not supposed to be, but I absolutely love uh, The Iron Lady, uh, and I think Meryl Streep was phenomenal in it, and I think everybody should go out and see a movie about a, a, a one of our world's leaders and, and who, who was the leader of one of our biggest powerful countries in the world at a time when it was very important to be the leader of uh, England and so uh, I'm going to say this is a big see it for the Iron Lady this is Skip and this has been from the fourth row review of the Iron Lady